Well, hello loves, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I am doing a refrigerator clean out because it is a hot, hot mess. And I have some new organizational items that I want to place in it. So if you're interested in seeing what I am doing today, just keep on watching. So I have a bunch of things that they're sitting on my counter. They've been sitting there for a while and I'm like, okay, it's time to get these things in place, get them washed up. I shared some canisters that I picked up from Dollar Tree that I'm going to use in my pantry. I picked these containers up as well that I'm going to use for prepping some salads. I picked up four that I'm going to use in my refrigerator. I shared this little organization item. It's a container that holds four containers in it. So that's gonna be a prep container for me, as well as this egg drawer organizer that I absolutely love. I've shared this in a haul as well. It holds 40 eggs. Love it, love it, love it. Now, after I get all of these items in place, I can put out my Mackenzie Childs items that'll be in another video where I decorate my kitchen. So I am super, super excited about that part. <laughs> These are some old organizers that I had. I may or may not use them in my refrigerator, we'll see. And I recently purchased these bowls with lids. Love these. When I have leftovers, I can place, place the food in these and put a lid on it. Don't have to worry about saran wrap or aluminum foil. They're covered, right? Those containers came from Walmart. So I'm gonna get all of these things washed up and then we'll move on and I'm gonna let you see the mess that I have in my refrigerator. <laughs> By the way, this will be a long video. So get yourself something to drink, a little snack, and spend some time with me. Usually I don't post. So right now I'm, I'm removing these labels on these containers with Goo Gone. This is a product I love to use. And they remove them with ease when you just let it sit there for a bit. And they'll peel right off.
So I'm going to continue on getting everything washed up and I'll bring you back when I'm finished. Stay tuned. Okay, now I'm going to share with you the inside of my refrigerator. This is before I go shopping. I want to clean it out so I can see what I have left. I'm also showing you I have a Samsung refrigerator. This is a computer in the kitchen. <laughs> the majority of the things on this refrigerator, I do not know how to work. But my grandson knows and my hubby. <laughs> but here is the hot, hot mess that I have inside. Things are everywhere. Leftovers are everywhere. <laughs> it's a hot, hot mess. And I cannot find what I'm looking for. So it is time, well over time, to reorganize this refrigerator. This refrigerator has like French doors and two drawers. One small drawer, which is the one I'm sharing with you right now. And then the freezer door on bottom. So I'm going to empty out the refrigerator and go from there.
Now, if you have this refrigerator, let me know what you store on this side of the door. These are so, so small, these shelves. Um, I usually store cream cheese, little small things in it, but they're very, very odd. And again, very, very small. So on this side of the refrigerator, on the door, I keep condiments and I have the remaining things in the main area that I plan on keeping in there. As you can see on the shelves on the doors as well as the shelves in the main portion of the refrigerator, I do have mats. I have been doing this for years any spillage it protects my refrigerator so i absolutely love it i've picked them up from dollar tree and i always like to have a thaw bin where i place my meats in my refrigerator to thaw them out for the next meal and as you can see, I have some leftover wine that I will be drinking after I complete <laughs> this refrigerator. So I've washed my egg drawer organizer and I, now I'm going to start loading her up. If you are wondering how am I going to keep up with the expiration dates on these items, guys, I write them down. I can also place some masking tape on the bottom or the sides of these organizers and write the date, expiration date with a marker. Now the eggs in the blue container have expired. It's only two left. So now I'm gonna take care of my butter container. Now I use my Cricut to label this container as well as the drawers, the fruit and veggie drawers in my refrigerator. I used my Cricut. So yes, I pulled out the clipboard and I'm writing down expiration dates for eggs, milk, orange juice, etc. Now these containers I ordered off of Amazon to hold my milk and juice. I'll have the link in my description box below. Time 
Everything's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy teasing all day, and when the sun sets, you asking me to come through, kick it with you. Night turn to morning dew. Let's start loading these condiments up on the refrigerator door. I had some fruit and veggies that needed to be washed so I could use them so we're going to do that right now. Now I'm taking a couple of sprinkles of baking soda to get the film and clean these vegetables. I do this with vegetables as well as fruit. And it makes it last for a little bit longer as well. Now after I add the baking soda, I let them sit for five minutes or so and I come back, rinse them off, pat them dry, and we are good to go. When you disappear, tell me your secrets, you got my ear. Room to assume is feeding my fears. Don't wanna leave, pull me in closer. Can we start over? Don't want nobody but you. No matter what we go through, keeping it between us two, me and you, can we survive the distance? Don't know what we're missing, but there is a space between us. I know healing ain't instant, but can we survive the distance? Lifetimes are going like years away. Now that they're all clean, I'm going to make sure they're dry and place them in containers. Sorry if it's a little cliche. I know we're supposed to live in a gray. Leave it to chance or leave it to fate. But I'm missing you. Pull me in closer. Can we start over? Don't want nobody but you. Keeping it be to. Just no matter two. what we go through, I stay true. But can we survive the distance? Don't know what we're missing. But there is a space between us. And I know healing ain't instant. But can we survive the distance?
So I had to stop what I was doing because I had a grandparents program to go to hubby and I at my grandson's school. So I came back home after that program and continued on. Now, any fruits, I love to put a paper towel at the bottom of the container to hold the water that comes off of them. So here are the remaining containers that I have on my countertops that I have washed. The ones on the end I'm just going to use in another place in my home. Those acorn canisters, you'll see them soon. The jars again from Dollar Tree I'm going to place in my pantry. And I'm going to prep some salads for these containers here. So let me get this side of my countertop cleared, get these things put away, and I'm placing my salad containers in the bin like I want them in my refrigerator, and I'm going to work on that later. i 
And since this pan and the bowls are new, I'm going to get these washed and cleaned up. Of course, they will not be used in my refrigerator, but want to get this washed up and put away. Tell me what can I do now? Ain't it always funny how? Soon as I let my guard down, here comes that familiar sound. When you start to get tongue tied, and in my heart I feel you lie. So I knew the whole damn time. Why do I act so surprised? Cause I'm free. So back to the refrigerator I go. We're going to work on the drawer section of it. I mainly keep cheeses and deli meats down here, but I do have a bunch of these fruit cups <laughs> in hopes that my family eats them up. I had too many of them, so they're here in this drawer for now.
get out the way who got a watch who got the time i'm raising the clock even in my feelings grind don't stop got big dreams want big old rocks i got plans you got talk that is real cheap but it's really cold house i'm trying to get these ends building buyers with my friends i'm about handling my business no time for stress over bush you think success is a now these containers i'm using for some of my different sliced cheese i picked them up from Timu. I will have them linked down in my description box below. I'm gonna make you pay for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'm gonna make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Wait till I don't like for it. Count down for me. 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight that. I'm gonna make you wait for it. On my time. Yeah, I'm gonna make you pay for it. On my time. So that's pretty much it for this drawer and I can see everything I have in it. Now for the freezer I don't think I have to do a thing with it. It pretty much stays straight. Right here is my grandson's area. He loves his ice cream popsicles, ice cream sandwiches. He knows exactly where to go. Trust me. <laughs> to the left are our breakfast items, sausages, my grandson's pancakes already made, mini pancakes. He loves those as well. This side to the left are frozen vegetables and fruits, and to the right are our meats. And that's pretty much it for the freezer. Now, one of the last things I need to do is take care of these beverage dispensers.
Now I gotta clean the outside of my refrigerator, right? The inside is looking good, gotta have the outside looking good as well. <laughs> Okay guys, let's see what we've accomplished today in the refrigerator. Oh my goodness, I can see everything. <laughs> it feels so good to be able to see everything in the refrigerator. It feels good to have this checked off my to-do list. I have my drink dispensers or beverage dispensers over to the right my milk and juice the egg organizer love it love it love it fruits over here in those containers. Those containers came from Timu. My thaw bin, and I wanted to show you this because when you place meats, juices still seep out the packages. So that's why you need a thaw bin to protect from contamination, protect your other foods. It is a must have. And the center of the bottom portion of this refrigerator are for my leftovers this container contains all of my onions peppers tomatoes now i didn't do anything to this drawer because i have a lot of yogurt so i'll come back to that next time i go grocery shopping to the right are my veggies. Those veggies that we washed are in there. I do have carrots and leftover slaw that I need to do something with. But guys, this is pretty much it for the refrigerator up top. I did have my salads up top there. You can see that briefly. Love that. I love salads that I can just grab and eat real quick. <laughs> the doors are like they were when I first shared them with you. Again, if you have this refrigerator, let me know what you store on them because again, these spaces, these shelves are small on the doors. To the right are my condiments. We open a lot of condiments in this house. I don't understand, but anywho, <laughs> we're going to work on that with my family but yes this side of the refrigerator are for condiments and salad dressings I usually have more than that so that's pretty good with salad dressings
I can check that off my to-do list and move on to the next. <laughs> oh, uh, I love keeping my fridge organized, but sometimes it get out of hand, especially when you, you get busy, life happens. It just happens, right? Well, that's all that I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and shop my Amazon store. All of those links can be found in my description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I'll see you on the very next video. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there, and I'll talk to you real, real soon. Love you guys.